Nation of Intent, it is day eight. We are in the first day of week two. Welcome to week two. And uh, by now you should have your numbers. That is your diet numbers and your new cardio numbers. Your diet numbers are gonna stay the same. Don't worry about it. Things will change with your diet soon enough. Your cardio numbers have changed, so please pay attention to those. Okay, yesterday, well, over the last couple days, I guess, I talked about thermic effect, or I mentioned about thermic effect of protein. All macronutrients have a thermic effect. That is, all, all foods, really, have or require a certain amount of energy to go through the digestive process. The digestive process in and of itself requires energy, right? Our body has to do work to break down the food, to assimilate it, and then do whatever it's going to do with it. And protein, just for clarity on this, protein has the highest thermic effect. It has uh, roughly a 30% uh, uh, thermic effect. So for example, let's just say you ate uh, 500 calories worth of steak. Then we're looking at about 150 calories of that steak going towards its digestion. Now thermic effect will always be much less than the food that you've eaten. Right? Thermic, effect, thermic effect is only going to be a small part of the total calories, especially when we're talking about uh, more specifically your carbohydrates and fats because they have a lower thermic effect. But I just want to clarify that that's what thermic effect is. It is the energy that is required to digest the food. So <clears throat> when somebody says to you, when you eat more, you raise your metabolism. Yes, of course you do because you have to digest the food. But that doesn't mean that you're burning more energy than you're taking in, right? Okay, so just some clarity on that. And I'll talk, about, I'll talk more about that in the future. Let's talk about why carbohydrates are important. Okay, number one, thyroid health. If you follow a low-carb diet, and there isn't necessarily anything wrong with following a low-carb diet per se. A lot of people have success with low-carb diets, especially on a, on a satiating level. But when it comes to the thyroid, you need carbohydrates to keep your thyroid uh, functioning optimally. So what tends to happen when you reduce carbohydrates substantially or you don't have carbohydrates in your diet is your thyroid production will go down. Your thyroid is one of the major players in regulating your basal metabolic rate, right? The amount of energy your body utilizes to keep the lights on, to keep us, you know, functioning, keep our body temperature up, keep our keep our brain functioning, keep our organs working, etc. Number two, carbohydrates are the most protein sparing uh, macronutrient. And protein is really, really important. We talked about its importance yesterday. We really don't want to use protein for energy. So a lot of times people, would, when they go on a, and they, they go on some sort of diet or calorie deficit or whatever you want to term it, when they're out there to lose some body weight, they might think, well, I'll keep my protein high because that's really important, but I'm going to lower my energy really low. And this is not a good, uh, this is not a good strategy because you're just going to end up using protein for energy and it's a very expensive energy. If you go shopping and you buy a bag of rice and you buy a, a nice quality steak, you quickly see the difference in price, right? Especially when you're paying or when you're looking at the cost per uh, unit of energy. Number three, most calorie, uh, excuse me, carbohydrates are the most calorie sparse foods in, gen in general. So you're getting a lot of volume for the calories. And this is a good thing because this will help to keep you fuller. And there's many other reasons, which I'm going to go through tomorrow, but let's get to the message of the day. And today's message is, it's one of my favorites. You can say this to yourself. In fact, I encourage you to as cheesy as it is. I am amazing. I can do anything. Positivity is a choice. I celebrate my individuality and I'm prepared to succeed. I am amazing. I can do anything. Positivity is a choice. I celebrate my individuality and I am prepared 
to succeed. Let's say it one more time. I am amazing. I can do anything. Positivity is a choice. I celebrate my individuality. This is really important, I think at least. And I am prepared to succeed. All right, you guys, you can start your day off with that every day. Just repeat that mantra to yourself five times. I guarantee you, you'll have a better mindset for the day. All right, and on that note, positive energy, positive vibes, believe in yourself for the love of God, gifts and gratitude, and I'll talk to you all very soon. See you guys.